All right, it's Christmas Eve 2023, and this is just a children's python breeding update. So this pair, um, I think, is a little behind the other pair. And uh, um, this is the female, and that's the male. And um, so I mark my animals using a metallic marker. And the way I do it is I do heads is males and tails is females, not to be crude about it, but that's just how I do it. So I mark a spot on their head um, when they're males and then tails when they're female. But these actually both shed in the same like 36 hour period. And I managed to screw it up and mark them both as males. So that's the female. I know that, but that was just a head scratcher. But the way I mark them is I just pull the water bowls. I separate them so they don't rub over each other and smear it everywhere. But pull the water bowls, just write the, uh, take a little bit of Sharpie metallic marker and then just make a mark on them. They'll try to rub it off right at first, but then it doesn't seem to bother them. It sheds no problem. I know um, people have quite a few snakes that keep them different like this. But I'll tell you, um, with this group of children's pythons, I could not tell most of them apart if I didn't carefully mark them. Um, but so this is the female. You can kind of tell positionally by how she's sitting. She's a little less willing to have those tortured coils than the male. That's a very clear sign for me about the females. Um, but so this one's a little farther behind, but I have been witnessing locks and whatnot. And then this one, I actually pulled the male because she's been rolling hard on me like this. So um, I'm pretty sure she's done, but I'll probably throw the male in again. But She's been rolling so hard the last few days and I haven't seen any breeding action. I just pulled the male because there's no use keeping them in there um, pissing each other off uh, or risking that. So that's just a little bit of a um, update. I am going to, I expect that I'll get eggs from at least one of these. Um, and then I'm going to probably internally incubate them again, although I might throw them in a friend's incubator. I'm just a boa guy. I don't have an incubator, but I've internally incubated them before and it worked out fine. Um, other than that, this is the female that produced last year and she's paired with a different male um and so i have 2.1 two males and one female from the from the same uh, genetic background and then this female is new or is not new but she's different um different uh bloodlines or different gene pool um and i paired her with the male that fathered the um litter with that this female last year so it's an outcrossing with the father from last year to a new female and then this is a male and a female um so basically new new pairings this year and if you have animals from last year you should probably try to get one from this female this is f3 because they'll be a little more genetically diverse but this is f3 which will be the different mother than um, F1, which was last year's mother. So that's just a little quick update on the children's pythons. They're awesome little species. I'm excited to um, bring some more to you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.